Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. And we are looking at a quick head that I just sketched out uh, just now. Uh, because what I want to talk about today is hair. How to draw hair, which is a common question I get a lot in my basic drawing classes. Um, uh, so a lot of people are always uh, curious about it. It, it presents a problem because uh, if you don't do it just right, um, it could look very fake and very unhairy. So uh, let's dig in. Okay, so we are looking at a head that I just drew. Now, I always start out by saying any person, any character that I'm drawing, regardless of the hair uh, or if there's a, a lack of hair, regardless of age, gender, uh, regardless of anything, I always start out drawing them bald, okay? And there's two reasons. Uh, first, by drawing the person bald first and then applying the hair afterwards, the hair will sit on their head more naturally. Uh, it won't, it, 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 it'll minimize the chances of the hair looking like a, a toupee or some sort of weird hat. Uh, it'll just rest on top of the head uh, a lot more naturally than if you just add hair to the top of their head. Uh, secondly, um, by drawing them bold first, I'm allowing for there to be a cranium, okay? Sometimes we we get into the frame of mind that hair is just something that happens at the very top of our head. Uh, but if you if you watched my video on the face grid, and very quickly, this would be the lines of the face grid. Um, the eye line, okay, and eyes are also something that we associate with being, uh, if not at the top of the head, close to the top. The eye line is really right across the middle of the entire shape of the head. So really, um, we're only about halfway up, up the head when we get to the eye line. There's a whole lot more happening up here. So sometimes people reach the eyes and then they go right into hair and the head feels a little flat, feels a little small. Uh, it feels like we, 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 there's just not a real believable skull under there. So that's how, um, that's, that's, those are the two main reasons why, regardless of who I'm drawing, whether they have, you know, long, th a thick, long mane of hair, or whether they're totally clean bold, I'm going to draw them bold first. Okay, so th this is my springboard. This is where I'm going to start from. Now, once I have the, the head drawn, what I'm going to do is very lightly, I'm going to draw the overall shape of the hairstyle that I want to give my character. And this doesn't have to be super precise. I, I could just kind of feel my way around it. The, the, one of the things I really want to get across is that the hair, um, it's not a solid mass. The hair is, it's a collective. It's assembled by thousands and thousands of tiny little strands. So, and hopefully that'll come across uh, as I do this. Okay, so I very lightly drew the, the shape of the hair. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my eraser. My, my, got my kneaded eraser here. And I'm actually gonna take out some of that cranium because I don't want these lines to, to confuse me, okay? And I don't want the lines to confuse the hair either. Okay, so you can see hopefully already that, that this mass of hair is sitting on the head naturally. It's not floating above the skull or just growing out of the forehead. It's sitting on top of the head. Now, something we need to keep in mind is that light usually tends to come from above. And, and I believe I've mentioned this in my video with um, on how to draw eyes. In most cases, whether it's the sun outside 
or the lights in your room inside, um, our light sources tend to come from above. So what that means is a hair on the side, and I'm doing dark hair here, hair on the side is going to get be darker. And what's going to happen is that as it comes around, as it comes around the cranium, it's going to start to get lighter. So what I'm going to do is this darkness, and we're doing dark hair here. If we, if we have time, I'm, I may get into light hair. Okay, what's going to happen is this, this dark hair is going to break up. Okay, it's going to start to dissolve. Now here, he's going to have a, a part to his hair. And what's happening in the part is that that's where the hair sort of goes in, gets, gets a little lower on the cranium. So it's going to be dark in there. And as we come out of the part, the hair is going to break up again. So I'm going to, I'm going to whip up my pencil. And that's what keeps my strokes looking hairy, okay? You can take a close look there. And I'm, I want these two masses. I'm gonna turn my paper here so I can get a better angle. And I'm gonna whip, 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 whip. And I'm just flicking the hair, and hopefully giving it this sort of hairy texture, and I'm gonna do so on this side too. Now I've, and I know I say this a lot in my videos, I wanna leave these highlights, okay? I wanna leave these highlights because that's gonna give this, this mass the sense of roundness, the sense that this is actually laying on a round head. So I'm gonna leave that, but I will, because I want this to look hairy, and I want it to look like it is made up of thousands of strands of individual hairs. I might go in through and, and just run a few rogue strands, e even down here. You know, maybe there's, there's a few strands or, or up here. Just to make it seem a little hairier. I want to give this guy some eyebrows to match. So he doesn't look a little too freaky but but that's hair that that's that's dark hair for you okay hopefully that looks hairy enough now now very quickly what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna lay down another another quick head another quick oval go down a quick face grid I'm not gonna go into too much detail get too precise here but I, I just want to very quickly uh, show how I would do light hair so with light hair and this will even be longer hair too okay, I'm, I'm very quickly doing the same thing that I just did where I'm, I'm drawing the mass of the hair okay is very loosely drawing the mass of the hair. Again, I started with a, with an oval, started with a bald head, and on that bald head, I drew the shape of the hair. And, you know, once again, you, you don't have to be super precise because hair is hair. It, it's gonna, you know, do its own thing a little bit. And it is lots of little strands, so you got a lot of room to, to play here. And again, I'm, I'm removing the cranium here, especially now that I'm dealing with light hair. Now, the principles that I use in that first, in, that, in the dark hair, they're going to be the same principles that I'm going to use for light hair. Uh, I'm just going to use a whole lot less lines. So once again, believing that my light is coming from above, my hair around the sides, especially behind the ear, is going to be lighter. Or, I'm sorry, it's going to be darker. So, but because this is overall light hair, I don't want to get as dark as I did with this guy. Okay, I don't want to go in with solid blacks. What I want to do is render everything linearly. Just because this is long hair, I may do a few long strokes. Like so few long strokes coming down to the the ends of these strands 
she's got a part in her hair too. And I may go in with a few short strokes that I'm gonna pull out. And now I really wanna leave a lot of white in this, in this hair because it's light hair. And I also want to maybe come through with a few rogue strands, a few wild strands here and there. Now with, with light hair, with blonde hair, you want to add as few lines as possible. As few lines as possible. You don't want to go in and keep adding lines because the more lines you add, the darker the hair is going to be. I, I realize this one is a little sketchy, so things might look a little messy, but I'm hoping you guys get the idea. So if you're doing light hair, that isn't that light. You know, if, if you're doing pl a platinum blonde, you're gonna use very, very few lines. If you're doing a strawberry blonde, well, add, add a few more lines. Let it get a little darker. Um, but just realize that the more lines you, you add, and you may notice as I keep adding lines here, her hair is going to get darker and darker. So now if you ever get to that point where you feel like, well, maybe you've added a few lines too many, well, you could always go in with your eraser and cut through what you've put down and lighten up the hair again. And in fact, we could always do that with this guy too. If we ever end up killing the highlight, well, we can bring that highlight back. Just, just cut in through whatever we're rendering. So that's about it. That's about, um, that's what I, that's how we, we get to hair. That's how I do hair. Um, I hope that helps. I hope that, uh, resolves any hairy questions. Get it? Okay. I'll stop. Um, so if you have any questions on this, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for subscribing. If you've subscribed, uh, we, we, we keep on picking up new subscribers. So if you're out there and you've just joined up, uh, thanks a lot. And um, please go, go back through my catalog and, and check out some of my other videos. Um, if you dig these videos, please click like subscribe, and hit that bell. Okay, thanks a lot, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video really soon. Bye-bye.